how to check the click-through rate in YouTube Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can check what your click-through rate is for your YouTube channel and for specific videos. Let's get right into it. To get started, head into your YouTube Studio and head into your analytics for your channel. Then what we're going to do is under your channel analytics, I want you to check on the reach tab. This is then going to show you the impressions that you are getting. It's also going to show you your click-through rate. And then it's going to show you the views that you're getting from these impressions and the click-through rate. Now you can't just look at click-through rate in isolation. You need to look at all of the metrics on your channel that are surrounding your click-through rate. So there are five metrics that I want you to look at surrounding your click-through rate. They are the impressions for your videos, your click-through rate, the views from your impressions, together with your average watch time, and your total watch time for your channel. So the first is your impressions. These are the times that YouTube is putting your video out there for people to be able to click on and watch. So think of this as the times that your video is shown on the home page and shown on the watch page. So let's look at some of the stats for our channel. We've had 290,000 impressions. So this is the number of time that our video has been put out there and have the chance of a viewer to click on it. And then our click-through rate is 10%. So 10% of the people that see our videos actually click on and start watching. This leads to 31,000 views. This leads to 31,000 views and our average watch time for our channel is 1 minute 30. So not the best watch time, but it's the start of our channel and we're starting to grow. And then last but not least is the watch time from these views. Now we've got 790 hours watch time from these views and this is the most important metric. So I want you to spend the most time focusing on what kind of watch time you're getting for your channel and for your specific videos. Now let's go in and look at two of our specific videos on our channel to have a deeper dive into the analytics. The first video we're going to look at is our custom thumbnails video. We've had 670,000 impressions here with a click-through rate of 10%. And we've got over 100,000 views on this video. So we're really proud with how this video is done and the amount of views that it's got us. Let's head down and dive a bit deeper into the analytics. So we had 670,000 views with a 10% click-through rate, and this has led to 71,000 views from these impressions. Our average watch time for this video is 1 minute and 51 seconds, and we've had 2.2 thousand hours watched on this video. So this video is done really nicely, and it's really interesting to look back and see why it's worked well and which of the stats we can build off of. Now let's look at our second video, how to change your email. So we've had 33 impressions on this video, and our click-through rate is 18%. This is a really high click-through rate. What you're normally looking for in click-through rates is a click-through rate of between 2% and 10%. This is the range that YouTube suggests that you look at trying to target on your videos. So you can see if we go a bit deeper into the click-through rate, it does vary over time, but as the video matures, you can see we get into a nice smooth rhythm of exactly what the click-through rate's gonna be on the video. If we look into the impressions and where they've come from, you can see the difference between the watch page and the home page and where YouTube is showing this video the most. So let's go a bit deeper, 32,000 impressions on this video, an 18% click-through rate that has led to 6,000 views. The average view duration is 1 minute 16, and the watch time is 126 hours. If you hover your mouse over the impressions, it's going to let you know where YouTube is recommending your content. So you can see how much it's recommended on your watch page and how much it's being recommended on the home page. Another interesting place to go and have a look at is the source. So where are all your views coming from? Where's your watch time coming from on your channel? If you have any questions or queries about click-through rates, let us know in the comment section down below. I'd also like you to let us know what kind of videos you'd like us to make about click-through rate. What do you want to learn and what do you want to know? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.